This is your city. Now hold yourself up. Let's go. Bring him up there. Let's go. Find your coach. Let us show chat. Chat. Your home. Your opportunity. It's all about energy. It's all about effort. It's all about getting better. To make a name for yourself, going all the way down your community, the Touchdown, USA. your family. To reach higher and fight harder. Leveled the return man. And show the world. Right, he busted up the middle and he's gone again. Why South Florida football is called Bull Strong. When the Bulls win, you win at Wendy's. Wendy's is a proud partner of USF Athletics. And when the Bulls play, you win. Get a free small fry after each Bulls football game and score a free small frosty when they win. Valid for 24 hours after any game day at participating Tampa area Wendy's locations. No purchase necessary. He is now set a USF single game record. Touchdown, USF! Blake Barnett on a keeper. They will run on first down and splitting the seam and going all the way down the field for a huge game. Goes long, and this is picked off by Mike Hampton. Bulls defense digging in. A foot race to the end zone, and nobody is going to get him. Bull Strong Inside USF Football is presented by Wendy's. When the Bulls win, you win at Wendy's. And by Coca-Cola. Hooters. Tampa General Hospital. USF Health. Here we go. Three, you're down. Here we go. And the shot is blocked by David Collins. Here comes Collins on a run out. He's out there. He just knocked it over the entire building. So here we go. They're back on offense and breaking through right up the middle. Look out. To midfield, Cronkright. They fake it to the wide out. It's Cronkright, and he's in for the touchdown. Jordan Cronkright again for USF. Eluding pressure. And throws it on the run. A one-handed grab made. What a reception by Cockright, Kerwin Bell. He talked about the offensive line starting to play well, and Jordan Cronkright is the bigger, biggest recipient of that. He's a tough runner. He's got good vision. He's patient behind his blocks, which I think not enough running backs, you know, do a good job at that, but Cronkright does. And you get good push from a big offensive line and a back like Cronkright does a nice job hitting it up in there. Big hole there, Cronkright again, and another big pickup. That's about 15 yards on the carry. Well, Jordan Cronkright is such a talented young man. You know, I'm really excited about how he's matured from when he got here. You know, a lot of times when kids face adversity, you know, you go somewhere in the University of Florida, probably your dream school, and for whatever reason it doesn't work out. You know, he never blinked. You know, he came, he worked the year that he redshirted, never had any issues with him. He was, had a lot of success last year, and that's really impressive. First and goal, Crockwright, and he's got it. Touchdown, USF, and they respond, taking it 75 yards for the score. Crockwright is now over 100 yards again for USF. And that is three in a row for him, over 100 yards rushing. Crockwright adds to his total. Crockwright, free! Foot race, Crockwright, first down and then sound. He's had a good season. 
Back again. Cronkright runs right through it. Cronkright burst through the Navy D. The ball down to the 41 yard line of ECU. Cronkright. Nice job to find the hole. Look at a shifty moves. Cronkright goes to the sideline. This looks like a much different USF team here today for sure. Bull Strong. Inside USF football is brought to you by Wendy's. October was a month of travel for the Bulls as they played their third conference road game in four weeks, traveling to Greenville for a game against East Carolina. It's a place where they have never lost, and they also knew it would be their last regular season game outside the state of Florida. We said we're going to be aggressive. We're going to be physical. Nothing else to talk about. Let's go get the job done. You know, this is a game today, they gotta get going, get that running game going early with Cronkright. A prophetic statement indeed. The Bulls running game would be a dominant factor, but before they could showcase it, they found themselves down a touchdown. And it's gonna be Tyler Sneed on the return for the Pirates. He's got it! Touchdown! Opening kickoff for six. Going to start in a 7 nothing hole just 15 seconds in from their own 25-yard line. The Bulls had an immediate response. The opening kick return seemed to energize more than demoralize, and they produced an impressive 10-play equalizing drive. In the cloud, they thought about trying to sling it out, but he could not, and it takes off, and it's going to get the penalty yardage back and more. A precisely choreographed mix of pass and run had the Bulls sniffing the end zone. Cockright, first down, USF, and he's going to set up a first and goal from the five. Taken down by Jalen Price. What a run by the former Florida Gator. Cockright, and he's got it. Touchdown, USF, and they respond, taking it 75 yards for the score. Hoisting their own colors, the Bulls' defense continued their mastery at disrupting things behind the line of scrimmage. He is ripped down on the spot by Kirk Livingstone. Pass to the outside, and USF ready for it, man. What a play as Tower Steve made the catch with Mike Hampton was right on the spot. Another benchmark of Charlie Strong's defense is forcing turnovers. His Bulls have a nose for the ball. Well, and this is what South Florida does, right? 19th takeaway of the season. It's unbelievable. And they forced a turnover in every single game this year, and we're in game number eight. So here we go. They're back on offense and breaking through right up the middle. Look out. To midfield, Cronkright, and a flag comes in at the end. The call against East Carolina, and in one play, the Bulls move from their own 11 to the Pirates' 35. McLeod over the middle, he's got a wide open Jacob Mathis, the tight end, touchdown. 21-yard strike. The Bulls had their first lead, and it would hold up as the accelerator remained pressed. It's a little flip out to him, and he is undercut and taken down by K.J. Sales. Quarterback injuries have forced the Bulls to adjust. Blake Barnett had ankle surgery. Jordan McLeod has gutted his way through some injuries as well. And Jacquez Evans got an opportunity to take some Wildcat snaps. He takes it into ECU territory inside the 30-yard line. That drive stalled but showed the versatility of an offense led up front by a line that returned all five starters paving the way for 248 first-half rushing yards. Keep it going, Nick Roberts. That, combined with a smothering defense, tilted the game toward USF. Third down, Ehlers. Ball is tipped and it's intercepted. It was ruled a trap, but it didn't matter. On both sides of the ball, South Florida had found their sea legs and took the game away from the Pirates. McLeod from the gun here. Caught on a slant by Randall St. Felix. He's one where the coaches challenged him this week, said, you need to step up and start making plays. You're too good of a player. Yeah, McLeod to the end zone, up in the air. It's Randall St. Felix holding it in for the touchdown. What a grab. The early kick return touchdown by East Carolina seemed like ancient history. The Bulls' defense was dominating, second in the nation in takeaways, and they added to the list. Second down and 14. Ehlers passes intercepted. Greg Reeves 
He's got a chance to take it to the house. And he's going to be hit. So on his feet, it's going to be Ehlers that has to finally bring him down. Greg Reeves with the interception. Evans returned at quarterback and showed he could do more than just run. We're going to keep Evans in at quarterback a third down. It's a keeper. He's got the first. He's off to the races. Evans, touchdown, USF. But he ran well, picking up 99 yards on just six carries. The Bulls would score touchdowns on five of their seven first-half possessions. Kirk Rigel became the third quarterback of the day. They fake it to the wideout. It's Crockwright, and he's in for the touchdown. By halftime, the Bulls enjoyed a 35-10 lead, and they were on their way to a season high in rushing yardage. Cronkright, nice job to find the ball. We're going to shift he moves, Cronkright. For the third time in four games, Cronkright went over 100 yards as Kerwin Bell's offense produced a season high 525 total yards. Kirk Rigel's pass to Terrence Horn finished the scoring. That is a touchdown grab by Terrence Horn. The running of the Bulls at East Carolina made their record under Charlie Strong 18-1 when they outrushed the opposition. I told you to meet me in the end zone. With four wins in their last six games, the Bulls head into a well-deserved bye week. Defense, though, for USF has been done about yeah, They're second in the nation in takeaways. It's unbelievable. And they forced a turnover in every single game this year. Perry Willow up to throw, and he's got an open target. Defender closing. Intercepted. Nick Roberts. Well, and this is what South Florida does, right? That's a nice delivery. And that was on the turf. And scooped up by South Florida. A big whistle out of bounds. So the play is dead. And he shell to throw. Long over the middle of the field into traffic, and it's picked off by the Bulls. At the 20-yard line, coming back the other way with a nice return. Looks like Devin Studstill got the pick. It's the second turnover of the day for the Bulls defense. The physical defense is something that USF has, you know, prided itself on since the, the start of the program. Our defense has to be more physical than the opponent's defense week in and week out. And so I think that's just an added bonus when you're able to run with anybody in the country, out hit and, and be sound tacklers. Those are the three things you look for in anybody across the country and as far as a, a top tier defense. And that's what we try to put on the field week in and week out. Johnson stays in, deflected, intercepted. KJ Sales at the 25. So the turnover by Lucas Johnson and South Florida set up in plus field territory on Georgia Tech's first giveaway. Ball on the ground, Perry lost it, punch three, goals counts. Greg Reeves has the football. Another turnover, the third of the game taken away by USF. He's in trouble, and he's hit. Drop ball's loose. Ball scooped up, picked up there. That's Livingston with the ball. Johnson, and the catch is made. Dylan Devaney, ball popped loose. Bulls recover. A USF single game rushing record. Touchdown, USF! Blake Barnett on a keeper. They will run on first down and splitting the seam and going all the way down the field for a huge game. Goes long, and this is picked off by Mike Hampton. Bulls defense digging in. A foot race to the end zone, and nobody is going to get him.
Bull Strong. Inside USF Football is presented by Wendy's. When the Bulls win, you win at Wendy's. And by Coca-Cola. Hooters. Tampa General Hospital. USF Health. C.J. Johnson, Devin Stutzdorf had a big hit, and why that was the case, he came in there and kind of popped it out. How about these defensive numbers, Randy? Really? They tackles for loss. Tackles for loss is phenomenal, and the red zone defense has been great. So defense really has done their part for USF. And USF does it again. <laughs> big offensive line and a back like Cronkite does a nice job hitting it up in there. North and south, he's a one-cut type of guy. Good to see Cronkite end up with a, over 120 yards and two touchdowns. And then to see St. Felix come alive and make a big catch down there in the end zone, make some really key catches for us. Cloud to the end zone, up in the air. It's Randall St. Felix holding it in for the touchdown. I knew it was, was going to be open because we, we had that play call in. We, we was running in practice, and I, I scored every time in practice in that play. And I told the quarterback to watch me. So when the ball came up, I knew um, it was an opportunity um, for me to make a touchdown. Coach Ron was challenging playmakers on our team just to step up and make more plays, and St. Felix took that personal, and then you, you were able to see what he did out there on the field, so I'm extremely proud of him. Our receivers, they, they took this week personal, because, you know, they ain't been making the play. They feel like they haven't been making the plays they should, and today they did really well. And then we gave Jacquez Evans a chance to come in, ran for 99 yards before he left the game. To see the explosiveness from the true freshman, Jacquez Evans, right there. Just to see the way our defense stood up. He had a fourth down. Stop doing oh, down. His fourth and goal for ECU. Option. Moody. Stephanie not going to get there. A lot of guys just played hard. You know, see Bentley plays hard as he played. To see uh, Nick Roberts go and play, Stutz still go play. And, and just keep the pressure and the pressure in the quarterback. Taylor's pass is intercepted. Greg Reeves. Big time play. Um, they were driving down the field, had a chance to score. I guess he didn't see me, just dropped it in the middle of the field, and he, he kind of put it up there to me. Just like backyard football over again, you know? Best hands on the team. <laughs> <laughs> to come up and make that play at a critical moment like that, oh, it was really big. I mean, when I got up, it was almost the air around me was gone. I, I couldn't see nothing. My helmet was all messed up. And it was just everybody was slapping me, and all I could do was smile. I was just like, man, that's... <laughs> so it was, uh, it was awesome. We just came out here with an attitude, being the hammer, not the nail. Um, just we're executing on, on all cylinders. Obviously, we had a we had a few mistakes out there, which are going to be corrected tomorrow. But uh, just a great job all around. It's re really good. You know, we're really excited that we just got this win going into a bye week. Like I said, we got a hard November. We just got to keep fighting every week. He is now set a USF single game rushing record. Touchdown! Will run on first down and splitting the seam and going all the way down the field for a huge game. Goes long and this is picked off by Mike Hampton. Bulls defense digging in. A foot race to the end zone and nobody is going to get him. Bull Strong Inside USF Football is presented by Wendy's. 
When the Bulls win, you win at Wendy's. And by Coca-Cola. Hooters. Tampa General Hospital. USF Health. Here we go. 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 Here we go.